Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the semifinals. And we will see in this semifinal, it will be Jochen Graudens against Rocco Fulciniti. And it's Jochen that won the ball. And if we look how they play in the quarters, Rocco beat Rock yes. Bahor with 83.5 average and 4 0, and Jochen beat Daniel van Almond with 87.75 with a 4 1 win. So this should be a really good and tight semi final. And now we play best of nine legs, so it's first to five. If you look at the stats from yesterday, Jochen had the highest average, the highest checker percentage, and we see the 180. He was highest in every aspect of the game, except for the 180s. So Marcel Valpen had eight yesterday. Now we see the first one in this game from Jochen. We can see also that Jochen now starts really good in the first leg. He have the advantage to have the serve, and he's already on 86, so 12 darts. So this should be trouble 18. 74 left, could use this as a marker. Now 41. So 9, 1. Go for the 1. 46 scored, leaves him on 40. How much pressure will it be on this? It will be pressure. A beautiful 168. Rocco leaves in on 16. That's be pressure for Jochen's 40. Can he hit a double 10? And he does. There's a snatch there from Jochen, otherwise you can see his second 180, just in the second leg. Now, Rocco treble 20 for the bullseye. 40 scored. Treble 18 or bull, went for the treble 18. Now 19, 42, 10, 6 or 2. Went for the 2, hit 17, leaves on 25. Yes. 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 Yes.
Good shot here from Rocco. Can't be 40 left. Check. That must be a miscount from the marker before. But he check it out. He goes for what's on the board. And check out for a 2 0 lead. Kick off the serve with a 100, and now Rocco need to find his scoring boots because now Jochen is ahead. You have the serve in every odd leg, so one, three, five, and seven and nine. And uh, let's see here, he's banging another 180. If Rocco doesn't uh, break Jochen's serve at least twice from now. He will be out in the semi-final. We can see here that Jochen is already on 121 of the nine darts. power is so good right now. 12, 17, 84 left. Goes up on 20 again. But this will be pressure from Rocco with a 140. So 64, 16. And now double 20. That was I. Let's see what route Rocco goes for 85, 19, 15, so maybe even the bull. Treble 15, beautiful first one. Can he hit double 20? Check. And there it is. The first break he was needed. Beautiful two daughter from 85 and a 14 dot leg. And we're back on even terms again. Now the break even his leg, but Jochen have taken the darts and hits a it's one twenty five or eighty five. It's a one twenty five leaves him on one sixty when he's coming back. Rogo is not far behind, only twenty five points. Plus these. We saw Jochen check out 160 yesterday. Unfortunate for him, he doesn't do it now. Looks like he went for top tops and he, he hit single five on the last one. 55 left. Rocco 98. Travel 18 for double 12 here. And now can he hit the double 12 to equalize? Check. Beautiful check out for Rocco. Yo. And a little nod of improvement from Jochen Graudenz.
And now we're back on even terms, 2-2. Two, two. If we see this scoring power, hopefully we see a long game. I would love to see this game go all the way. You can see already now after four legs, the players are on 90 in average. And you only need a 121 there, leave them one. 45. So you can have six starts from 145 to make it 3 2 and have a lead once again. One score if Rocket can hit a 140 here, pretty even in this leg. And it does, so 101 versus 104. And then, oh, that's a beautiful setup for the double 20. Check. And he checks it out, 104. Beautiful check out from Jochen Graudens. <clears throat> Evenly match these players now. We can see the only advantage that Jochen have now is because they had a serve. The scoring power is very good from both of them. They average over 92 at the moment. How can Jochen check out 141? Oh, good. Second out, unfortunately, he can't hit it. But set it up for 52. So, Rocco, you need to hit double 20 here. Single 12 for double 20, no double 10. Took a step back, to compose himself for double 10. Oh, yeah. And they're both on the same double now, double five. Now single one for double two. Double two for Rocco to equalize the score to 3-3. Three, three. And he hits it. Yeah. 
So now it's best of three legs, you can say. Is this the chance that Rocco waited for? A 4 to 1 score from Jochen and he banks in a 180. That's an answer. So Rocco needs a break to win this game. And will he? Jochen got us with another 180. 125. Now Rocco has stolen the dust, as you may say. Plus he's on 321 and Jochen is on 335. Let's see here. Four perfect starts. Five perfect starts. Can we see another 180? Oh, he tried to push it in. Drag it a little bit low. But now his advantage is 79 points ahead plus these. It's another 180, leaves him on double eight of just nine darts. Beautiful play there from Rocco Fulciniti. Can we see a 10 dart? I think that's the best leg we have ever seen on the stream here. Double eight for 10 dart. Still double eight. Check. And he hits it, a 12 dart. Now he broke the serve of Jochen Graudent and he had to serve. We know here that Jochen needs a break to make it 4-4 and then we have the deciding leg. He's in advantage, he has 105 points ahead of Rocco right now. So Rocco needs at least 100 to make it even in his leg. If Rocco hits a 100 here, we're dead even on 161 for both players. It goes down on 19, can't leave himself on the check it now. Big 20 leaves him on double 20. This would be pr under pressure. Roca is at 133, sets up on 40, and Jochen needs double 10 to equalize. Now double 5. Check. I love you. And he hits it. And in a both semi-finals, the score is 4-4. Matthias Jost and Marcel Valpen is 4-4. Yeah. And here we have 4-4 between Jochen Graudes and Rocco Fulciniti. <clears throat>
Let's see who can keep the nerves and win this deciding leg to make it to the final. We know if you win one of these tournaments, you get a chance at the PDC Q School in January. An update for the other semi-final. Matthias Jost have beaten Marcel Valpen. So Marcel's winning streak of three tournaments wins in a row and here to the semi-finals. Well done Marcel for that run. We will see a new finalist for Matthias Jost. And will he play against Jochen Graudens or Rocco Fulciniti with this side of this leg? That's 140 leaves Rocker on 111 when it's coming back. How much pressure will that be on that 111? 82, 92 versus 111. Now travel 17 for double 20. Double 20 now for Rocco. Take a step back. Pose yourself. A little dance behind the Jokan and he shakes it up. Beautiful. And then Rocco Fortunity makes his way to the final. And in the final, I guess Matthias just see you in a little bit for the final. 